good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many. When the old one's gone under the knife, and I can feel the sun on my skin, beginning to thaw from within. Today and not tomorrow. This morning half so clear a lot as any To see the horizon in the far Excuses were two for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind Hi everybody, welcome back. I am here today to go ahead and decorate for fall 2021 and I am trying to get this done before my mom comes in because she's coming to Catsit while I go away for a couple days to Galveston, well around the Galveston area with a couple of co-workers so we can get away for Labor Day weekend. But I am trying to get this done but I'm also working so I am, I may be in and out of here at some point to do the work. But as you saw earlier, I took all of my fall decorations out of the boxes here. I still have a box back there that has the pumpkins and everything in there. So I am going to go ahead and go room by room and try to decorate for the room. I do when I do my decorations, the thought process that I have is, will my cats be able to get here? Is this breakable? Will my cats eat it? I have to decorate for my cats basically so a lot of my decorations will be up high although I do have one cat that likes to be up on high perches so it's it makes decorating a little difficult because he gets into everything so including kitchen cabinets I found him in the kitchen cabinets this morning so I have now had to put child locks on all of my cabinets all of them for a cat Anyways, let's get to fall decorations. So I am going to go ahead and, I don't know which room I'm gonna start in. Let's start in the formal sitting room, library, whatever we wanna call it today. So we'll get started in there. Today, well something's gotta give. Today is a good day today. everybody it's been a while since I actually tried to start decorating for fall I'm gonna try to get it done today it is Sunday morning September 26th I think it technically was not the first day of fall until this past Wednesday and thankfully in Houston we actually did have a cool front that blew through that day so the weather has been really nice and fall weather for us it's been in the upper 80s which is really cool for Houston and the South. So it's, it's been nice. And of course on that day, I accidentally had my windows open and one of my kittens, Jack, uh, busted through one of my screens for my window and started chasing one of the outside cats. And let's just say it was quite fun 
trying to run through groves of bushes and trees and things like that to get a hold of this cat. Thankfully, he could not navigate the fence and the vines climbing over it. So we were able to, or I was able to capture him and bring him back inside. He did suffer a small cut on one of his, the pads of his paws. But other than that, he's perfectly fine. The outside cat is perfectly fine. She is actually sitting in the window waiting for me to come out and feed her. So that is what we are going to go do now first before decorating. But I will bring you along as I'm decorating with the rest of the stuff that is behind me and the box of pumpkins that I have sitting on the ground over here. So I, you, I, you will have seen where I started decorating and then wardrobe chain. <laughs> You know, it's been several weeks. I did start at the beginning of September, right before Labor Day, and then life happens, you know, and these have been sitting up there since then, and I just wanna clean them off. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. And, cat, hey, come here, Sam. Over here. Look at, oh. This is Sam. Oh, I know, I'll open your window soon. He wants the window open and they want me to feed them. However, they have three bowls of, full bowls of food. Cats, I just don't, cats. Anyways, on to, on to decorating. to start in the dining room and I've put this table runner and then I got that table runner last year from Target this was from home goods last year it's a little centerpiece with pumpkins and then I have an orange pumpkin over there behind the tea kettle and that's pretty much all that I do in here I have to keep my decorations kind of minimal because of the cats or I have to put them up high. But one thing that I've added over here was this light up pumpkin. I forget where I got that. I think I got that at Home Goods many, 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 many years ago. So I've had it for a while. And then I have an owl and then a Bath and Body Works candle. It's marshmallow pumpkin latte or something like that. It's a little sweet smelling, so I can only burn it for so long. And then up on my bookcases, I have some pumpkins that I've turned around so that, because we're moving into October, so that will be for Halloween. And then I have down here on the shelves, I have little figurines that I've had since I was in college. There's another one. And I'm gonna skip down here so you don't see my high school yearbooks. And there's another one. And then 
over here I have a tablecloth that matches the table runner on the dining room table. I don't have anything on that table because with that tablecloth the boys like to play with it and get all tangled up in the tablecloth. I let them. It's, it's a tablecloth. <laughs> I can't help it that those little boys like to play and everything. And this scarecrow, I put it up yesterday. It's already on the, it's been on the floor once already and uh, it will be on the floor again. I'm fairly certain along with the plant because they like to tip that plant over too. And it's a fake plant from where? I think I got it from Michaels. I'm not quite certain. That box, I have one more stake I need to put outside and it is from the Dollar Tree. And it says home sweet home. But that'll go outside in the yard. And then we have a little cornucopia with a little owl from the Dollar Tree a couple years ago. I have oil diffuser with and my bamboo plant with some like floral picks, another owl. I have two leaf plates. I got those from the Target Dollar Spot area a few years ago. And then I got this back when I was in college from my mom. It's a little scarecrow. And I don't, in the kitchen, I think the only thing really is up there. And I don't know if it will focus. But it says hello pumpkin and then probably the only other decoration that I have will be my mugs and today I'm drinking my peppermint mocha coffee and my little boo mug got that from Target as well so moving into oh I forgot one thing moving in and on the outside or the door to the backyard I have the this owl wreath. I've had that for a couple years. I forget where I got it. But and then it is O Dark 30 outside. <laughs> so you see my reflection. I'm trying to get this done because I have some stuff I have to do today. So moving into the living room. This is the final on the bookcase and up on the top shelf I have little woodland creatures that I got from Target. So I have a fox, a squirrel, a bear, and a little bird. Nothing on the second shelf and then I have this jack-o-lantern and this pumpkin. And then I put the Hello Fall sign right here. It'll probably end up on the floor as well. And then on the TV stand, I have this little thing I got from Home Goods last year. And I added the little pine cone candles to it just to give it a little something extra. They're gold. And then I am burning a spice candle and you can see I have a little bit left on it and the last thing in here would be this wreath that is on the fireplace and I don't have a mantle I wish I did uh, but I don't but <laughs> it's a very tall bookcase let me see if I can get back up against the window to give you guys the full there we go. So it's kind of in the middle. It, it works. And then to the hallway, I have this little wreath right here. Uh, I forget where I got that, but this is a little clip-on butterfly. And I don't want to take it off because I don't know if I'll get it back on. But it's basically like a floral clip or something like that. And I just added it in there to add a little green to the mix because fall here in Houston, we don't really have these colors all that much. We have this and this, 
brown. <laughs> it goes straight from green to brown, usually. Okay, let's go into the office. It's kind of a mess because I haven't done my zone cleaning for the office. So mainly the decorations that I have in here are on the bookcase. And I really keep this out year round, but up there in the corner, I have a nutcracker that is Phantom of the Opera. So I, it's kind of Halloween-y, but not really. And then I have some pumpkins up there. I'm gonna have to clean off that whole top section. It's just boxes and shredding that I haven't gotten rid of. I have a little like door hanger thing here. I'll get close-ups here shortly. And then I have a figurine, old doll, figurine somewhere in here and a doll. So I'll get close-ups of, there's the figurine and then the doll. And like I said, this will all be cleaned out this week. And I have messy shelves because I've moved those. <laughs> so it's a work in progress in here. It's not complete. These might end up somewhere else. And then the other two thing, three things I have over here. I have another of those marshmallow latte. Let's see if I can. Marshmallow pumpkin latte candles in here. And then I've had this candle for the longest time. It's, let's see if I can. My phone was vibrating at me and I don't know why. Uh, and this leaf candle holder. So I just kind of place the candle back on there and have it up there. I haven't ever lit that because I the smell isn't my favorite smell. And then I, this was my September uh, screensaver. It flips between a bunch of pictures that are fall pictures. I'll change it in October to more spooky Halloween-y things. And then November, I change it to where it's more Thanksgiving, thanks, not Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving type of pictures. Okay. And for those of you that don't know, the master bedroom in my house is actually my office because it has the be best light. So in my master bathroom, I've added, hey everybody, I've added this sign that I got from the Dollar Tree this year. And then my little pumpkins, that'll end up on the floor at some point. I know for certain they'll end up on the floor. And then walking down the hallway, in the guest bath, in the guest bath, all I did were these and the little like hedgehog and the pumpkin up there are candles. And then this is from Dollar Spot at Target or some somewhere like that. Not very expensive. I didn't do anything to the laundry room. I probably should and the guest bedroom I'll add a candle in here because I still have yet to place the the scented candles but I'll probably add that to the nightstand but I have this little cluster of pumpkins two of well I think all three of them came from Target at some point okay and then my bedroom I haven't done much Still the same things, but I've added those little two scarecrows. So I can't really put much extra. <laughs> I mean, I already am decorated for Halloween with the three black cats running around. So my, you know, we're always ready for Halloween here, but my nightstands really can't take much more extra. I could change out the flowers, but I don't. And then, um, that becomes a highway to the window, the dresser. So really the only place I can put anything decoration wise is up here on the TV stand. What Jack? Jack. Hey. What? What? 
I have my new air purifier over there. They're not quite sure what to make of it. <laughs> I put it on last night, but Jack gets a little crazy meow when he's running around. So, so that was my fall decoration. I have had to change all of my holiday decorations pretty much and where I position them because of the new cats that I have and the the new ones would be the three black cats. They are one year old kittens. They'll be a year and six months in November. So they're very rambunctious still and they get into everything. And that's why I've had to put like the non-breakable stuff on lower shelves, but they also like to chew things still. So it's, I, my dec decor is, <laughs> it, I'm having to catify the house. Let's just put it that way. I didn't have to do that with Fifi because she just really didn't get in too much. She, when she was a kitten, she did. Like she, and at Christmas, she would always climb the tree at some point, but I let her, I got non-breakable <laughs> Christmas ornaments for her to be able to climb up the tree. But, um, but the boys were still in the, the, they're not kittens anymore, but they're still very playful and getting into a lot of trouble. So that's why I don't have a lot of decor. I mean, I have a lot compared to some people, but I have very, not a lot of decor, decor out. And the stuff that I do have, I try to find stuff that is not breakable, non-breakable, because uh, cats are bee poles basically and they like to knock things around and when these guys are running like crazy cats like one just ran down the hallway <laughs> don't know what's going on um when they're running around like crazy cats things tend to fall over and break so i've had to like put all of my precious breakable things up on tall shelves and have like empty shelves like you see on the bookcase over here where I've left empty spaces over here because one cat specifically likes to get up here and he tries to get up on the second shelf so I'm kind of scared about the clock up there because he has knocked that over before um the other stuff it's not I mean the sea is kind of breakable but oh well but you can see the cats like to lay up there. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I hope everybody enjoyed my fall decorations and the small little changes I did for Halloween. The pumpkins, I basically, all I do for September and November, I keep them where they're at, but I actually turn them around. So I have the jack-o'-lantern part out for uh, Halloween and then I turn it around to where it's just a regular pumpkin for September and November. So let me show that real quick so you can see. I'm done decorating for November. <laughs> and now Halloween. So I, in the past, would decorate for fall, then take all of it down, decorate for Halloween, take it all down, decorate for Thanksgiving, and finally I just decided that I was just going to do this type of stuff. My mom has been doing this type of stuff for years where she would just turn jack-o'-lanterns around and make them pumpkins for the holidays. So that actually cuts down on the amount of decor I have to store. So minimal, minimalism slightly. I will check back with you guys next time. Bye everybody. Wipe down the the picture that's behind me this is what I have to deal with look at that lampshade stop even do this stuff. I just don't, I don't get it. How do you
twist, I twist that all the time. You couldn't stop right with me. You had to run all the way down the hallway. Yes. Where's Binks? Binks. Binks. Thanks. I've lost a cat. But... I know that.